Hey guys, welcome to another episode of VTech Academy. You're about to get school. All right, we've had bunches of questions that come to us over the internet and sometimes I sit down and type all out the answers. Sometimes they require a little bit more uh, thought, um, but uh, Let's start off with the uh, first question here. This is on YouTube. David Cortez asks, any update on the L15 B7 Honda GD3 fit kit? Well, what he's talking about, by the way, is this right here. This is a GD fit, and GD does not stand for- God damn! Thanks, noob noob. This is a GD fit, and it has L15 B7 in it. And the mount kit has been done for quite a while. Uh, is it in production yet? There's a bunch of them sitting, ready to be welded for some time now. We really need to get them out. Uh, I haven't been able to pull the time together to put together the instructions and other things. Plus, the wiring still seems to be a bit of a problem for a lot of people. Um, hopefully, we can work something out with uh, K-Tuner and Honda on that. Uh, I'm hoping that it's going to be a couple people that the wiring harnesses that are going to be able to handle that and I would really like to bring this to market as soon as possible. Daniel also asked about the uh, GE Fit, and the GE Fit has a much bigger engine bay. In fact, this one barely fits a K-series with, mod with modification and really doesn't like the L15. It's just tight in there and has a problem with cooling. But on the uh, GE Fit, the engine bay is a little bit bigger, K-series fits really nice, and the L15 actually fits really nice in that one as well. Austin. CRSX from YouTube says, I have a Honda Element harness and EP3 transmission with an Accord ECU and K tuner. Good choice. How do I get my BSS to work? Well, you're gonna have to do some wiring. Let me get a manual and show you what we need to do. Okie doke. So, what we're trying to do is we're gonna try and convert our counter shaft speed sensor to a vehicle speed sensor, and it has different requirements. Here is a wiring for your current speed sensor. You have a green white wire, which is a logic ground. You have a yellow red, red wire, which is five volts. And then you have a signal wire that goes back to the ECU at A18. And that's what actually tells the ECU how fast you're going. This pulses too fast, but that's really not enough voltage to run your BSS. So we're gonna wire it like this. We're over here now to the BSS, which is how you wanna run your your particular vehicle because you have the EP3 transmission. It's a different connector. We're gonna to need to hook up a black wire which is gonna to go to one of the other black wires in the harness, any of them actually, that's a ground wire. It's gonna eventually get to G101 which is the ground that's on the head. Uh, you're gonna have your same signal wire that goes back to A18 and for your power wire, you're gonna tap into a black yellow wire. That's gonna be a straight 12 volts, not five volts. Now, what happens is the black wire goes in position one, the uh, signal wire goes in position three, and the black yellow wire goes in position two. And by putting these in with the right connector, you now have a working vehicle speed sensor. And uh, let's see, which car did you say you had? You had, da -da -da -da, EG chassis. So that's also gonna feed your vehicle speed sensor the correct signal because you have, hopefully you've got the correct K-Tuner style adapter harness. And if you do, that's gonna send your vehicle speed uh, signal back to your dash where it should be and everything should work out fine. Chewy1407 from YouTube says, what can be the issue on a B16 transmission when I drive the car for like 30 minutes, it gets pretty stiff and hard to get out of gear. Seems like when I push the clutch in and out a couple of times, it lets me get it out of gear. Well, it sounds to me like you've got a hydro transmission, first of all. And if that's the case, what's happening is you have a leak, most likely, in your slave cylinder. So what's wind up happening is, as you're driving, air is kind of seeping into the system. So when you depress your clutch pedal, it's actually compressing air rather than moving the uh, um, slave cylinder enough to disengage the clutch. By pumping it several times, you compress the air, and then the hydraulics start to work a little bit more like they're supposed to. So most like, likely, I'd say you've got a small leak. Usually it's in the slave cylinder. Um, the way you can tell is take the boot loose 
And if the inside of the boot on the slave cylinder is damp with fluid, that's where your leak is. It's possible it might be in the master cylinder, but it's most often the slave cylinder. Now, if this happens to be a cable operated clutch, sounds to me like the clutch may actually be heating up and expanding. It'll do that right before it wears out. So you might be in for a clutch job if it happens to be a cable operated clutch. All right, next, Sterling French from YouTube asks, sorry I didn't, my, didn't get my question in on the live stream, but if someone could help me, I sure would appreciate it. I have a 2000 Honda EX, I'm assuming it's a Civic, and I'm swapping the rear brakes out with the 94 Integra trailing arms. Do I need to change the master cylinder or proportioning valve on my EX? Thanks, y'all. Actually, no. Those work perfectly fine. Changing the proportioning valve is really never required with the Honda stuff, but the master cylinder could be. Now you have EX front brakes. They have a certain size piston in them. The master cylinder you have works very well with them. On the rear, uh, the one it'll work fine for the rear as well. So no change needed there. Just put those trailing arms on, make sure you get e-brake cables from the same car, and you should be set up. Hey guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today, but uh, I'll be back again soon with more answers to your questions. And by the way, if you have a question that's stumping you, you can ask me. Just email askvtechacademy at gmail.com and we'll answer your question too. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching us. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the racetrack. You can email me at ask, don't use the ask sign. You can email me, the email address is. Do you want to do that one more time? Yep, okay. because it was pretty bad. <laughs> it wasn't great. Yeah. And I think you're going for great here. Yeah, going for great. We'll see your questions and we'll get them in a video. God, that was horrible. <laughs> oh, that was a stunk. The first one started off rougher and it did good. Better. I know. Now it started off great and just, just fell apart. <laughs> Going for great.